Um, I saw, uh, I don't watch too many other content creators because as a content creator myself, I don't want to be swayed or influenced at all by what other people are doing. I just want to put out content for you guys and what you guys like and what works for my channel. Zeppla's new video, um, I think she posted it on the 21st. I just had watched it um, yesterday and I will post it or I will put it right here and I'll put it down in the description box. She talked about her troubles with finding an FC and I think it's a really important conversation is as long as i can remember playing final fantasy 14 there's always been this like really um strong feeling that you get as soon as you join the game that like you have to be a part of an fc in my personal experience and i'm just like i guess validating what zeppla feels getting into content creation and then having people like recognize you in game or anything like that, it can be really off-putting sometimes when you're looking to join an FC. I've been playing this game before content creation, of course, and every time I went into an FC, I had a really poor experience. I mean, and, that, and that's not a reflection on them. It's just I couldn't find one that really fit with the vibe that I was going for Final Fantasy XIV. There are a lot of benefits to being in an FC. I think also that when you're in FC, there's a lot of expectations put on you. And there's a lot of unsaid like rules and regulations that like not all people know about. It's just kind of expected that you are completely like all in from the very beginning on a lot of FCs that I've personally been into. And there's some that I've really like stayed with for a little while, all like at the end of the day, like they threw me to the curb, like almost immediately when someone else had spread some like false rumors about what I had said to them or how I acted. And I was destroyed. Like these are the people who I really thought like, oh man, this is going to be so great. Like I finally found a place. It was very, I, I mean... In real life, I struggled, like literally struggled. And you can like ask my fiance, struggled. I was shaking. I was so angry um, because of like, I felt like betrayed with all this time that I had put in. I just think like she touches, Zeppla touches on a really good topic. And she kind of comes to that conclusion at the end of her video is that maybe FCs are not for everyone. And there are ways to get around certain things that FCs offer like buffs. Like you have squadron manuals that you can do a squadron to get like tier three buff. If you feel like people are pushing you into an FC or you don't feel like it's right, you don't have to stay. Like it's not rude. You can just respectfully say, hey, I don't think this is working out for me. I myself started an FC with my own alt characters. So like my whole FC is just my alts that I play with um, and no one else. I don't have any in-game people um, or people on my Discord. No one that is a part of my FCs because the pressure of logging in and then having to say hello or having to communicate with like another player just because they're in your FC just really stresses me out. And I don't like the person I become when I have to log in and I see people log in. And if a lot of the time when I'm logging in, I'm recording or I'm doing my dailies real quick because I then have to record or like today I'm streaming. Like there's a lot of things that I do during game that I can't really interact with a lot of people, which is why I have the discord to interact with the community. And I like, I'm not the best at it. And even then I still get really nervous and really like, um, self-conscious about interacting with people. I am all for like, if you find one, great. If you start one even better, like if that's your calling, if you don't want to be in one, then you don't have to be. I've been playing this game now for almost a year and a half, not being an FC. But my friends list is extensive. And when I run around, I love seeing like the orange name on the friends list and the people who like come into your life right there. And you can just see them and wave hi. Be like, great. How are you? Super cool. Like, what are you working on? And then and then the, you guys go your separate ways. Like, I love that. And that's what works for me, um, especially as a content creator. That's what works for me. And you can have over 200 people on your friends list.
so I think there's a lot like other and you can have like cross world link shells and all sorts of other things to interact with people. But I just feel like the FC pressure is a lot and you don't need to be in an FC to enjoy the full extent of Final Fantasy 14 like you don't. So I'm really happy she put out that video. I think it opens up a conversation of like, this is not like how it has to be. And you can enjoy the game any which way you want. I, I joined, I ended up creating my own FC because when I was running around, I would get so many invites to just random FCs before I was a content creator, just so many invites. I was just like, how do I get around this? Like, I am so tired of getting these invites because it's like everywhere I went, I would be getting an invite. Anytime you <laughs> stepped into Limza Lominza, just like invite, 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 or people would message you. Um, I'm sure you guys have experienced this. People will message you and be like oh i see you're not in an fc like do you want to join ours and i'm like i'm sorry i don't like but thank you and then like sometimes i would get really like strong comments back of like well why not like why don't you like fcs offer x y and z and i'm just like yo like i just don't want to so thank you but no thank you you know and that was hard for some people most of the time people were respectful but there was enough times where I'm just like, okay, I need to figure this out. And that's why I ended up making my own FC. You need a friend to do it, like an in-game friend. So um, I had one of my in-game friends do it for me where you create your alts on the same server. If you guys want to know how to create your own FC, because you need three signatures. Basically, you have to have three in-game friends who are not in FCs to sign your petition. And after that get your FC started. They can leave. They don't have to stay in your FC still yours. And it could just be you in your FC. But I wanted to use the FC to switch gear between my alt because my main is obviously like my max level crafter and everything else. So she has all the things and any money I made, I wanted to be able to transfer back and forth. You have to be online though. So my friend would be online in my FC. I would log out of my main go to my new my new alt my friend would invite that alt to the fc again they have to be on the same server you can't do it if they're not on the same server and then you accept and now all your alts are in the same fc and i have like six alts that i i like regularly try to play on um be, for different reasons for either recording or for retainers which is really big because i pay for nine retainers so like i said you do not have to be on an you don't have to accept an FC if you feel pressure, you're not enjoying it, you're not happy, just leave. Because it's not worth you hurting your in-game experience to be in an FC just because you feel like you have to. That's how I want, I just, wanna, I just wanted to touch on that. I'm done being all serious now, but I just really appreciate her bringing that up because it is like, I think something serious that not a lot of people talk about. There are FCs though that are called like solo, like with all this being said, there's FCs called like solo FC and you just join and the whole point is to just get FC buffs and literally have nothing to do with it. I guess if you're into that, I just don't want to have to talk to anyone. Like not because I don't like people. It's just, again, when I'm in game, I'm so focused on doing something. It's hard for me to pull my attention away. So just wanted to touch on that. Okay.